Hello everyone, I hope you are doing very well. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can run simple and multiple regression analysis in EQS. So let's go to our data set. Okay, this is the data set that we used for our previous example of correlation and covariance analysis. Again, we have some demographic variables. We have the indicators of a few scales, as you can see. And on the very right hand side of this data set, we have our calculated scores for those scales. So IC stands for interpersonal conflict, RC stands for role conflict, PA stands for positive affect, NA stands for negative affect, JP stands for job performance, and JS stands for job satisfaction. In our simple regression analysis, let's see whether interpersonal conflict can predict job satisfaction. So to do this simple regression analysis, what you need to do is to click on analysis menu and then from here you need to select regressions option and then there is one sub menu here the first one should be selected a standard multiple regression so i select this option and what i need to do here is to define the dependent and independent variable in my regression analysis so let me just scroll down my dependent variable or outcome variable is job satisfaction. I select job satisfaction and click on this arrow. And my independent variable is interpersonal conflict. So I click on this arrow. And now you can see that my dependent and independent variables are listed in these boxes. I can also request EQS to add regression estimates and residuals to data set. So let me just select this option. And the last thing that I need to do is to click on OK button. All right. So this is the results of simple regression analysis. As you can see, we have 1,000 cases in this data set. First, you can see the results of um, analysis of variance or ANOVA analysis. And basically, this F-test and its corresponding p-value can be used to test the null hypothesis that the coefficient um, is zero. So since the p-value is less than 0.05, we can reject the null hypothesis and in fact the coefficient is not uh, equal to zero. Then there are some um, statistics that are uh, printed here and perhaps the most important one is R square and adjusted R square. So you can see that interpersonal conflict can predict 8.6% of job satisfaction. And uh, there are some other statistics that might be interesting for you, such as multiple R or multiple correlation and also the urban Watson uh, statistics. So all of these are displayed here. Also note that the uh, F statistic that you can see here are the p-value and also the degrees of freedom, 1 and 998, all of them are displayed here. And the last part of this uh, simple regression analysis is basically the table of regression coefficients. Here you can see that we have the intercept and the uh, predictor variable, which is interpersonal conflict. You can see the unstandardized pass coefficients, so B stands for sorry b represents the unstandardized pass coefficient then we have uh, ordinary standard error so these are some uh, standard errors uh, of the estimation for these two values and then another interesting part in uh, part of information in eqs output is this column heterostatic standard error and basically, this is a very uh, important piece of information because uh, if in a multiple regression analysis, the assumption of homocedasticity is violated, then you can adjust the standard error and still analyze your data. So basically, what has happened here is that EQS has adjusted this standard error in case that the assumption of homocedasticity has been violated. And then we have uh, the beta value, which is the standardized version of the pass coefficient. So here it is minus 0 0.295 for the impact of interpersonal conflict on job satisfaction. And then we have the T statistic and the P statistic. Please note that to compute the T statistic, um, EQS divides the 
B value by the heteroscedastic standard error. So uh, basically this uh, piece of information, heteroscedastic standard error, is used to compute the T value in EQS. So this is the simple um, regression analysis. Let me just go to the data set because we request that EQS to save some information for us. And here you can see that we have the predicted values for job satisfaction in this column and the residuals, which is basically the difference between the predicted value and the uh, value that has been observed. So if you want, you can simply create a, a scatter plot for these two variables. And to do so, what you need to do is to click on uh, this option here, a scatter plot, and then from the list of the variables, you will be able to select uh, the variables that you would like to uh, create a plot for. So this is the predicted value I just uh, added to the y-axis uh, dialog box and the residuals which goes to the x-axis dialog box. And then if I click OK, you can see that I can, uh, I can have the a scatter plot of the predicted values versus the residuals. And if you want, you can simply uh, click on this um, uh, button here, and then you can, for example, go to uh, Microsoft Paint software and paste the um, plot here, and then save it as a new file and use it in your research. So this is all about simple regression analysis. Let me close all of these. Now let's uh, see whether uh, interpersonal conflict, role conflict, and negative affect can predict job satisfaction. To do so, we need to click on analysis menu, and then here regressions and standard multiple regression. And then again, what we need to do is to select our uh, dependent variable, as well as our predictors, which in this case will be interpersonal conflict, role conflict, and negative affect. So I selected these three variables, and again, I can request um, EQS to add regression estimates and strength residuals to the data set. For this um, analysis, I'm not going to select this option. So I just click on this button, and then you can see the results. Again, you can see the F statistic and the p-value for the F test, which basically indicates that we can reject the null hypothesis that the path coefficients are equal to zero. And then you have a multiple correlation statistic, which is 0 0.51 for one. And then the R square value and adjusted R square value. So based on this R square value, our three predictors can predict 26.43% of the variation in job satisfaction. You can also see that the F statistics, uh, the P, uh, F statistic, the P value, and the degrees of freedom are also displayed here, as well as the Derwin Matson statistic. And then the last piece of information is regression coefficients table. Again, you can see the unstandardized version of the path coefficients, ordinary standard errors. Uh, heteroscedastic standard errors, which I told you that in case that the assumption of uh, homoscedasticity is violated, these standard errors are in fact the corrected version of the standard errors and should be considered for the analysis. And then the um, standardized pass coefficient and t-value and p-value here. So you can see that basically um, negative effect is the strongest predictor of job satisfaction in this analysis and uh, interpersonal conflict is in fact uh, very weak and its effect is not significant as indicated but by the p-value of 0 0.525. So this is all about simple and multiple regression analysis in EQS and I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.